This is Cindy from Edgecore Networks. We're now heading over to Mark's place. Mark leads the tech support team at Edgecore Networks and he has recently moved into a new place. So our mission today is to go to his place and install a wireless access point. It's also a great opportunity to show how anyone can install an Edgecore access point at home. As you can see, we're driving by Taipei 101. It is the tallest building in Taiwan, and it was, for a while, the tallest building in the world until Burj Khalifa was completed in 2010 in UAE. Okay, so now we're at Mark's place. Let me ring the doorbell. Hey Mark, see what I've got. I brought you some wireless access points for today's installation. Wow, so nice of you. Please help me first. Okay. Hi everyone. So we're now inside Mark's place. I've brought him three models of indoor access points. So Mark, why don't you give us a quick intro on these access points? So we have um, EC W hundred and we also have ECW 5211-L and we also have the Sparkwave 2 AC 12000s uh, So shall we start unboxing first? Yeah, sure So after unboxing, um, so you can see here we have the EC W hundred. Uh, it comes with access point itself, of course, and then we have the accessories, and also we have a quick installation guide. So basically, this access point is used for indoors. Um, so for example, like hotels, in-room hotels, or also dormitories. So uh, I also have two versions: the American version and also the Europe version. So. I think for this one for today, I'm not going to use them because my house is decorated already. So I'm, I'll just pass this one. So let's move on to the second one. So for the second one, we have the ECW5211-L. Uh, so you can see here, we have the access point itself, of course, and also the power adapters, and also the uh, quick installation guide, and the accessories as well. So you can see here for our ECW5211, uh, we have one Ethernet port and one PoE port, and also the power um, adapters port and one USB port. So that's for the outlook. So if you can check here, we have the LED light for the Ethernet port and also the LED light for the 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz. So basically, it can give IT administrators some you know indications on which frequency they are using right now or if they are using any um, Ethernet port as well. So that's the Hardware part. So let's talk about the spec. So for the spec part, uh, this one is a way to access point. So basically, you can mount it on the walls or ceiling. It's up to you. Okay. So let's move on to the uh, Spotway Two Tower Hundreds. Uh, so basically, you can see here we have the access point itself as well, and then we have the accessories. Okay, and then the power adapters, and then also we have the quick installation guide. Uh, the QR code for you to access to our quick installation guides. Okay, so basically from this one, uh, I also it is also like a way to access points. Uh, you can mount it on walls and ceiling as well. So it, it really depends on you. So for today, I think I will pick this one. So thank you, Mark, for the introduction. You're welcome. Why don't we start to install the access point? Yes, please. So you need to have a laptop, you know, like this one. And then uh, you also need to have the access points, this one. And then you need to make sure you have the correct power adapter. So the, uh, I'm using this one. And then you need to have the uh, Ethernet. Okay. So because my laptop doesn't support the Ethernet port, so I will need to have like a converter. So uh, you need to check your laptop. So if you don't have one, please remember to get a converter. Similar like this one. So let's get started. So the first step is we will need to power the access points. So, so for our access point, uh, we can use the PoE injectors or PoE switch to power on. So in today's scenario, we are just going to use the power adapters. Okay. So while we waiting for it to boot up, so let's connect 
the Ethernet port to our laptop. Okay, so now the access point is powered on. So the next step is you need to make sure your laptop is connected to the Ethernet um, port of this access point. So, so now we need to set up a static IP for our laptop because right now in our environment, there is no DSC server. So let's go to network inter internet setting and then go to the Ethernet and then go to change adapter options. So let's go to Ethernet properties and then IPv4. And then because the IP address for this access point is 192.168.1.10, so we need to set it in a similar, in the same uh, IP range. So I will set it to 1.25 and 26. And then in this case, the subnet mask, I'll just use B pass. So, you know, 255.255.0.0. Uh, as for default gateway right now, it doesn't really matter because we just need to access to this access point. So click OK. And we can close this. Okay, so another step you need to make sure if you can reach, if our access point can be reached from our PC is by going to the search and type CMD. So in my PC, I've already made it here, the command prompt. So just open this and then ping the default IP of this access point. So you can see here, uh, we can access, our, our AP can be accessed. So let's go to browser. So this is the default login page for our um, access point. So the password will be admin and admin. Okay. So let's go to system and then go to network interface because now we would like to set up the IP address for this um, access point. So in my network environment, because I have the, I have a DHCP, so I will just use a DHCP um, for this access point. Uh, but if you want to know the, if you want to fix an IP address to the, this access point, you can. So just click static and then make sure the IP address is now used by others. So you need to make sure this um, within your own networks. And then you need to set up the default gateway properly and then the DNS server properly. But in my case, I'll just use the DSCP server. Okay, so you click save. Okay, so the next step is you go to the wireless and then go to general settings. Okay. So let's just have a look on the settings on 2.4 gigahertz. I think that's good to go. So let's go to the VAP config and then Let's create an SSID for you to, for me to use. So uh, in my case, I will call welcome and click save. So this is to create a 2.4 gigahertz SSID. So now I'm going to create a 5 gigahertz SSID. So let's go to iPad B and then say welcome. And click save. So let's go to security. Okay. So in our access point, we have different type of security, but I think this is just for me personal use. So I'll choose open. So I don't need to authenticate every time when I connect to the SSID. So let's just leave it to open. And just click apply. And it's going to reboot the system. So after this reboot, we can take this access point to my internet source and then connect it and then we are good to go. Okay, so now Mark has set up the access point. We're going to um, connect this to the modem right. in this place. So let me show you where it is. And then first thing we need to plug the adapter inside and then power on the access point and then connect the Ethernet port from the modem to um, the access point. Okay. Okay, so now we're good to go. So let me just put the access points here. 
So usually, um, this is not how we recommend it to uh, d d deploy. So usually the access point needs to be outside um, somewhere on the ceiling or on like a wall. But in my scenario, <laughs> I simply just put it here and it's still powerful enough to broadcast the SSID. Okay, so let's just wait for it to boot up. Okay, let's see if our SSID is working or not. So we go to settings, and then go to Wi-Fi. So you can see my 5 gigahertz SSID welcome, and then 2.4 gigahertz SSID welcome is ready. So let me connect to 2.4 first. Okay, connect it, and then we go to 5 gigahertz. Okay, now it's good to go. So Cindy, how's the Wi-Fi? Oh, it's pretty good. I'm streaming news right now, and it's playing pretty smoothly. How about for you? Yeah, mine's great too. So we have completed today's mission, which is to install an AP at Mark's place. So just one more thing. Uh, Edge Cool's Wi-Fi 6 product is coming. And so thank you guys for watching. And if you guys like our videos, uh, please subscribe our channel and give us a like. Bye! Bye.